how did you find that identity and pur- purpose again? I think the thing I did right is I realized I couldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater. So instead, I used something that in the book I call the artist subtraction. Mm. I just said, well, what do I hate most about being a doctor and got rid of it? And what I was left with was the one thing in medicine I would still do even if I wasn't being paid for it. And so I knew that it was important to my sense of purpose. And that was hospice work. That was the beginning. But then I had to start the difficult process of trying to figure out what else feels like purpose in my life. I now have 35, 40 hours extra a week to do whatever I want. I've always wanted to be a writer. I started blogging in 2002 and I would do it in the spare hours at lunchtime or when Mm. my kids were sleeping. But I had always told myself, well, you can't make a living doing this. This is not something you do. Being a doctor is what you do. This is just a hobby. But now that I have that time, I'm like, well, maybe it doesn't have to be a hobby. And even if it's a hobby, maybe that's something that's really worthwhile to pursue during my free time because it feels deep and abiding and important. 